Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, uh, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. It would be ridiculous killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, he ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. Sir, the professor will not be here for long. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. You are quite the carriage driver. Well, the go to the right up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur. There. No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people, myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's going to take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. But I couldn't! My reputation! 
You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is chilling? I'll never be published again! Reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, I, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please, not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Turns out, all those pains were real after all. Oh, Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. 